Hi, in this video I just want to clarify something with regards to Scan and Cut Canvas. Over the last couple of months I've been receiving um, comments and messages and emails from several people telling me that when they're watching my YouTube videos and they then log into their Scan and Cut Canvas account their screen looks different to the screen in my videos. Now from having conversations with a few people I've established that it's because Scan and Cut Canvas did an update back in October and that some icons were removed from within Canvas. So in the, I was going to do a blog post but I just thought it would be easier to actually just show people on screen and just point a couple of things out that may help anybody in the future. So basically when you come to Scan and Cut Canvas before you log in, if you look along the bottom here, this box is always here and it gives you information about updates that have happened or things that are going to be happening in the future. So for instance here, on the 12th of October, an update was released. This one here is telling you that on February the 8th, 2016, that Canvas is going to be down for several hours because they're going to be working on it. And then if we just wait for it to scroll, scroll round again, you'll see the next information is the last piece of information that, that we've had uh, with regards to updates and that was the tw um, 17th of December. So with that in mind, if you miss that and then you log in to your account, the information again shows up down here. So it's in you know two places at the bottom of either screen to highlight what's happening or what has happened in the past. Now if I just flick over to YouTube and you come to my channel here, Apple Lover 53, you'll see that under all my videos, and this is any video you find on YouTube, there's always a date, an upload date. So if you look at this one here, this one says it's eight months old this one is four months old this is actually an overview i did of the update from scan and cut canvas back in october and if you scroll through them all they've all got dates on if i go to i'll just go further back and pick a random post here's another one i did um this says six months ago and then obviously if you miss that and you click on it i'll just stop the video for now Underneath the video is always a comment box that always shows. Sometimes you see this that says show more and you have to expand it to get more information. But this box is under every video as far as I'm aware. And again, it tells you when the video was published. So if I go back and try and find a scan and cut canvas one before October... Okay, so this one here is an old video. If you look down here, this is from August 2015, and you've got the edit icons here, which were the weld and subtract and divide icons, which have now been removed. If I go into a blank project, those icons are no longer here. You get to them via the edit menu. So it's a case of... Anybody that goes into Scan and Cut Canvas, always look at the bottom of the page and see if there have been updates and compare the dates of the updates to the date of the video that you're watching on my YouTube channel and that may, may help to give you an indication as to why things look differently. I don't really want to take the old videos down and have to re-record them all. Um, so I thought this would be an easier way 
of just pointing out why my scan and cut canvas mat, virtual mat if you like, looks different in some of my videos to how it looks now when you go to scan and cut canvas. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Please don't forget to subscribe and that way you'll always be kept up to date with any blog posts I do. And I usually do, do blog posts or videos when there's been an update for the machine issued or for Scan and Cut Canvas. So if you subscribe, you will be kept informed that way as well. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.